fish around. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. I want to fish around the, the dam. And they're like, there you go. Get him west. Right. No, no. That might be the jackpot. You never know. Fighting hard. Fighting good, huh? Jeez. Stand down like a big one. Oh, it is a big one. Oh, nice. Yes, it is. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Lift up nice and slow. Oh, oh. He's oh. not ready yet. Oh, we'll get him this way. Nice and straight up. Oh, yeah. Woo. Nice. That's a walk off. That's a whopper that there. <laughs> Fishheadshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishheadshoot.com. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Um, it's a Saturday, I've been doing a bunch of running around, but uh, when I was running around doing chores, I was thinking about landlocked king salmon fishing. And uh, you know, I know a lot of guys struggle to catch landlocked kings, so I'm, I'm just trying to share as much of my philosophy on catching kings as I can with the folks here on the channel. Now, your mileage may vary. If you're a, a seasoned king angler, you probably got your own set of, of principles and ideas about what you need to do to catch these fish. But the, if you're just starting, or if you're struggling, I think I can help you, at least give you a starting point of what my thoughts are, what I do, and then you can take that on the water and start to dial in your own approach. Right now, I want to talk about the strike. You're, you're typically running downriggers when you're king salmon fishing because they're usually deep, you know. Once in a while, I'll get them up right near the surface, but most of the time I'm fishing anywhere from 25 to 50 all the way down to 75 feet deep, sometimes even deeper. Um, with trout, if you get a good sized trout, they almost always rip the line off the downrigger, the rod pops up, the rod pops down, fish on, yahoo, we're all happy, we're fighting the fish. With kings, strikes like that tend to be the exception to the rule. Usually, when you hook a king, even if it's a good sized king, they're not going to pull the line out of the clip. So it's super important for you to watch the rod tip. Um, if you get any, any telltale action like that, pop it out of the clip. Now, if you're not sure if there's a fish on there, sometimes, especially if I'm trolling bait, maybe I'm rolling anchovy tails or something like that, I'll pop it out of the clip and just allow it to rise in the water column. If I'm running gear, if I'm running like a spoon or a hoochie with a dodge or something like that, I'll pop it out of the clip and reel on the fish. Um, and more often than not, if I see a little action like that, when I'm fishing for kings, when I reel that slack out of line, I'll find that there's a fish there, and a surprising amount of the time, it's a two or three or four pound fish that for whatever reason, and I don't know what kings are doing down there, they'll get hooked and they'll either swim right along with the boat and not pull the line out of the clip, or they'll even come at the boat. Um, and, and it also is important to kind of be aware of what's going on. Now, when I was out with Wes the other day at Oroville, we ended up losing this fish. We were watching the rods very closely. We had absolutely no indication that we'd hooked a fish. We were running a line at 42 feet deep, 75 feet back with a six inch fisheye dodger and a uh, minnow tube on it. Well, all of a sudden Wes says, a fish jumped back there. Oh, a fish jumped again back there. We've hooked that fish. Sure enough, we hooked that fish on the 42 foot deep line. The rod gave zero indication, yet that fish came all the way to the surface and started jumping. Somewhere in that process, we lost that fish. But uh, when you're fishing for kings, just be aware. Sometimes the bites are very subtle. You've got to watch the rod and watch the water surrounding your boat. If you get a fish on like that, the quicker you get the line out of the clip and get tight to the fish, the better chance you have of landing that fish. So 
Anyway, that's another uh, Landlock King tip here. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're having a great time over here. We just went over 10,000 subscribers. We are super stoked. 2020 is going to be a fantastic year. Um, and if you're looking for gear, get on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Productions Tackle Shop. Everything in there pretty much is designed by me. It's stuff that I fish, stuff that I believe in, stuff that I can offer up at a very fair price gear that flat out functions on the water. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I better get busy here. I got a long list of stuff to do. The ISE show is coming up in a few days and I'm going to be consumed with that. So I got to keep, I got to keep popping here. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube.